Hi there, my name is Dr. Connolly and I will be leading you through your journey of explorations in animal and plant anatomy and physiology this spring. There are a couple of things that I want to go over with you very briefly to orient you to my courses and to make sure you have everything that you need for this class. Okay, ready to get started? So our first stop is the My Courses homepage, and you'll notice there are some announcements that I will post for you. It is rare that I will email the class unless there is something major that I've forgotten or if there is something that I need to tell you in an emergency sort of situation, but otherwise everything will be posted here for you so that you have com constant reference to it. So there's an announcement about a welcome to the class, and then if you scroll down, you'll notice that there is already bonus point potential available, so you can check that out and read that. There's some instructions about the Mastering Biology, which we require for the course for your online homeworks, quizzes, and study area. So we'll show you some of these things as we go. Now, let's first go to the schedule. There's a schedule posted. You'll notice that it is by unit or some folks talk about it as by exam. That's fine, okay? The first unit covers general animal anatomy, respiration, blood, and circulation. It tells you the text chapters that we will be covering and it tells you what I've posted for you as far as popular science articles, what quizzes are due, what homeworks are due, and when the exam is. These exam dates do not change. You can mark them on your calendar. You will have a 24-hour window in the online My Courses environment to take your exam during that day only. There are no alternate exam dates, so you'll need to think about that in your schedule and when you're going to do it during that 24-hour period of time. Most students, just for your reference, take about 30 minutes on the exams. I give you 90 minutes, so you can think about that in your scheduling as well. So this gives you the layout for the semester, runs us all the way through exam five on May 12th. Okay, so you can always come into this schedule and, and see what's going on. You see the note at the top that says your homeworks are always due on Tuesdays, your quizzes are always due on Wednesdays. I know this is different for some of you in an online course, that it is very structured, but the reason that is is that we cover a lot of material and I don't want you getting behind, okay? If we go into content, you'll see the syllabus is all laid out by section. Um, in my courses here for you, the course information, instructor contact information, the course schedule again, requirements and resources, and so on, okay? Including your video assignments that we'll talk about in just a minute and the discussion rubric, all right? So let's go into um, course information just very briefly. This will give you, you can go through and read this on your, on your own time, but this gives you kind of what I expect of you, your schedule and time commitment and so on for, for the course. My contact information is here. You can always reach me. I ask for a 24 hour grace period on email returns during the week, Monday through Friday, but many of you have had class with me before and know that it's typically much faster than that. Okay, um, you can email me either at my RIT email address or the Gmail specific RIT GenBio address, whichever works best for you in, in your correspondence. Again, the general schedule, you already saw that. Textbooks are not required for this course. If you are on RIT's main campus, we do have books for, on reserve for you in the library but most folks do not need the textbook or feel they do not need the textbook once they get into the materials, and I'll show you why I essentially give you everything you need. You are required to purchase access to modified mastering, and it's available through my courses, and we'll show you how to do that in just a second. You'll need to create three videos for me throughout the course of the semester. This is not high quality Hollywood Oscar winning product, okay? This is, I need to be able to hear you and see you preferably on occasion, and you often need to show me things. Most students just do this with their cell phone and it works beautifully, okay? Or a tablet or something like that. Um, you need to upload them to the video server. I give you the link here. You cannot put them into my courses Dropbox. It will kick them back. It will freeze the system for you and for everyone else, okay? 
I will post video assignment details for you and the first one's already up so you can take a look at that. We also have a discussion board associated with questions for this course, so you can always post questions there uh, to ask your friends and peers in the class. If you're having trouble with video creation, um, these should not be several gigabyte files. You can keep these small. I'm not looking for high resolution. Okay. If you go into activities and assignments again, it shows you kind of what I already told you in the in the weekly schedule. Okay. Discussions are due four times this semester, and I'll show you where they are on your schedule as well as we go. Information about the homeworks. You have 10 homeworks for this course over the course of the semester, and I will drop two. Uh, okay, so I'll keep your top eight homework scores. So this gives you an opportunity to, to oops and miss one, and it's no big deal. Same for quizzes. You have 10 throughout the semester, but I will keep the top eight. Okay, there are five exams. I will drop one exam grade at the end of the semester, um, but they will be approximately 10 to 20 short answer essay type questions um, in the given week or on the given day of the exam. And I show you here that they'll be the exam will be available to you from 12 a.m. to 11:59 p.m. on the Thursdays of the exam weeks. But I will only allow you 90 minutes in that time frame to do it. You can only go into the exam once. Okay. I give you some suggestions for places to study for those exams, and I will post tons of review materials for you and so on. A little more on the video assignments is here, and then my grading policy. I get things back to you fairly quickly in this class. As far as rubrics and that, as they are needed, I will give them to you. Here is your grade breakdown. So homework, quizzes, online exams, video assignments. Your final video assignment number three is actually your final exam in this course. So there is not a written final exam. Instead, you have a video assignment. And then four online discussions, as we mentioned. Policies for the course are here. You can read through these. These are not anything new to you if you've been in an online course before, likely. Um, my exam policies are here, my assignment policies, email policies, etc. Okay, so please do look through those um, so that you're not caught off guard with something. The video assignments, I've posted a general um, overview of the, vi of the video assignments here. You see they're only going to be about five to seven minutes. Um, for your class. And you are required to post an outline for me that's going to go along with your video with references, and these need to not be Wikipedia. They need to be good peer-reviewed references. There's a lot of stuff out there, um, and you can certainly find that. How they're graded is here. You'll notice that um, accuracy and linking concepts and theories are the biggest part of your grade for this. Okay, so please keep that in mind. You need to need to really think through these before you start doing them, and that's why I insist on the outline. You should do it, of course, before you make your video to help you. The points for grading and so on, um, and a few little comments on the quality of your video. It, like I said, these are not Hollywood productions. These are your videos to sh prove to me that you understand concepts and connections. Um, but there's still a few things. I need to be able to hear you and see you, and preferably the camera is holding still so that I don't have to take my Dramamine. Okay? The discussions are based on a 20-point distribution, and essentially it's a very rough scale. Um, are you making good statements? Are you doing what you need to do? Now, you have to post a reply to uh, another peer's posting. That means that in a discussion week, you need to post your initial thread by Monday and any follow-up and comments by Friday. Okay, You need to make at least one good comment, theory, thought, question, inference about another individual's post by that Friday. Okay, so the. The first one is actually due, oops, I have a typo there. I'll have to fix that for you. The first one is due, and I'll show you in just a second on the discussion board, okay? So when you get into the actual content, these are by modules here. You see if you click on module one, this is for exam one. We look at introduction to anatomy, human respiration, and circulation. We already mentioned that to you. It gives you the chapters if you have the textbook um, to work along with. 
fun science articles that go along with this. I would never test you on those, but it might help you to connect um, content. What will be due on mastering? And then when we actually open up video pages here for you, and you go into the first one, you'll see that I've embedded all of our YouTube videos. You can get to these straight through YouTube. If you prefer, you can go to YouTube and search for RIT Gen Bio all together, um, and it will come up with my, my channel. You can subscribe to my channel if that's easiest for you. Um, and then preferably you're going to go into playlists and start looking for what you would need. Um, so the anatomy section is here. Um, you could go in and play all the videos. You'll note when you go into these videos that there is a set that has an interpreter and captioning, and there is a set without the interpreter. So if you find our dear friend Chris Spencer distracting in these videos, you can choose to use the ones with only captioning and no interpreter. Okay? So you'll see that all the videos are here, and if you scroll down, these video questions would be very good for you to understand before the exam. Hint, hint. Okay? So for all of the chapters, um, or all of the sections, you're going to have this information for you in the video pages. The other thing I wanted to show you, and the same is true for all of these modules, you will have video pages, chapter outlines, and review materials for every module. It's laid out very systematically, okay? The chapter outlines are literally just text, okay? So if you open one of these, my apologies, I will fix that link for you. If we open these up, you'll actually see the outline that goes along with, open one of the outlines, they will go along with our topic and give you the ver or give you the words associated with it, the vocabulary in case you need spelling and things like that. And then our review materials, as they're available, I'll post them here as you get ready for the exam. Um, typically, these will be topical sorts of things just to keep you on track, okay? The discussion board is our next stop. If you have questions about the course and so on, that's great. You can post those there. Um, introduce yourself. We ask you to do this just so you guys can get to know each other a little bit and I can get to know you. I'll post one about myself. Your first discussion is on athletic training and using um, and training using oxygen, pure oxygen, and so on. And so what we ask you to do is go into class responses, and you're actually going to need to create a thread. So you'll hit start a new thread. And this is where you would post your initial response to my question and then hopefully someone will post a response to response to your response get it and it tells you the due date and everything here. So this is actually due Friday, February 5th by 11.59. So you have a little bit of time to do it, but of course you can feel free to do that immediately. You'll notice there's a rating scale. I will go in and grade and read each one of these. Um, and you can rate one another. If you think it's a really great post, give it five stars. If you think it's a terrible post, give it one star, okay? This is an, the, an, an, an this is an attempt uh, to give you a little bit of ac interaction on, on our My Courses, okay? Um, so the Dropbox, you'll see these are here only for the outlines, and I've noted that. Remember, the videos will actually go into our video server box, okay, that I've posted for you. Um, exams, you'll actually go in when the exams are available and you'll see those. Your grades is the standard grade book. Anything that I grade for you will be posted immediately there, okay? One last thing that I wanted to show you in our first module, if you scroll all the way down, is you have a video assignment due February 14th. It's all about blood, okay? So you're going to want to go in here read this. Note, I will have different things for this. This one says you'll be presenting as if you're presenting to a middle school biology class, assuming limited knowledge of background material. 
So this is very different than some later where you'll actually be presenting to a scientific crowd or um, to a college classroom. Okay, so you need to pay attention and read these carefully uh, so that you can get full credit for your videos. Okay, so if we go back to the, the cover page, let's go into Pearson very quickly. All right. So if we go in and click that, and you'll notice that you have to click this gray box. Clicking on the green box does nothing, okay? Click on the gray box, and you won't get these instructor links, I'm sorry, okay? But you'll click on Mastering Assignments, and when you do that, you see that your first homework is due on January, or pardon me, on February 2nd, okay? Now, right now it's unavailable to you. It actually starts on January 25th so that you can go in and, and work on it. So it starts the first day of class, okay? Um, but if we click and go in so I can show you very briefly what it looks like, you're gonna get this list of items. You go into each item. The first item here says, which of the following is a correct match of cell type with structure? Some of these will have activities for you to do. Some of these you will just need to work on the videos, uh, the video lectures beforehand, okay? So it'll give you some options here as far as picking and choosing. You submit. You actually have two attempts on the homeworks to get each question correct. On the quizzes, you only have one attempt. Okay, it's a quiz as opposed to a, as opposed to a homework. All right. So, one other thing I wanted to show you with this in your assignments. Let's go into February so we can see a little bit better. So, homework one due February second. Homework quiz one is due February third. Homework one adaptive follow up. You see this? It's a different color. This you will only have to do if you score less than a ninety five percent on the homework. And these are bonus points, so you don't have to do them, but you can choose to do them if you want. If you have questions on that, let me know. Um, but if you score less than 95% on this first homework, it will prompt you to do the follow-up. Many students choose not to do them. That's totally up to you, okay? If you really felt like you were struggling with the material, I highly recommend them so that you can do better on the exam, all right? These orange ones, you'll see this one's actually already available to you. If you click on this, this is what we call a dynamic study module. Um, these are a little bit different than the homeworks. These are all optional, okay? Um, you can do these if you want to. You can not do them if you don't want to. That is totally up to you, all right? But if you go in here, it says, which of the following best describes an artery? And these are randomly assigned to you. These are independent per student, okay? So which of the following best describes an artery? Contains valves. Well, you'll learn that's not true. Oxygenated blood. Yep, okay. Carries blood away from capillaries. Well, we'll see that that's not true. Thin walls, not typically. Carries blood away from the heart. Yes. So I've got two possibilities here. This, unfortunately, is not always true. So we're going to, but if we click that one, and then I'm going to say, I'm really sure about this, or I'm unsure about this. Um, I'm not, I'm not really confident yet. So if you click once, you get this half circle that says I'm unsure. If I click again, it says, yep, I'm really sure about that. I know that's the answer. And if I hit submit, it's going to say, oops, nope. Okay, and it's going to build these for me based on how well I do on these questions. Okay, so you'll see you get this. There are 25 questions in each one of these. Like I said, these are optional, but students have really found them to be beneficial. All right, so those are there for you. The other thing in mastering, last thing I want to show you, okay, is we can go into the study area. And if you go into the study area, you'll notice they have chapters up here at the top. We're going to start with chapter 20 in our book. And if you, you have to hit go, otherwise it'll sit there and stare at you, okay? If you hit go, you'll see that there is a just ton of material available for you to practice, um, things to test you, practice tests. These are great. A lot of the students um, use these practice tests and then use this thing that says cumulative test over here. If you click cumulative test, and for our first test, we're going to look at chapter 22, um, 21, and 23, I believe it is. 
And then you can pick how many questions you want and you hit start and it'll give you a quiz. It'll help you work through some of these. If you don't know the answer or aren't sure about the answer, it'll actually tell you where it is so you can go back and look. Okay, so those are a great practice for you as well. The last thing here is BioFlix. Please don't forget to look at BioFlix, okay? We don't have them for every chapter, but here's gas exchange. Okay, this isn't our first test. And if you see when you go in, it actually has a slideshow, animations, tutorials, study sheets, and a quiz. Okay, so if we look at the animation, it'll start and these do have captions associated with them. Whether you're racing in a triathlon or doing something less strenuous, you need to breathe in oxygen to help you get energy and breathe out carbon dioxide, a waste product. So these are great animations to help you review concepts and they're here for you. And you'll notice there are a bunch of them um, for the chapters that we'll be covering all of the 22 through this end, 37, and also chapter 7, photosynthesis. So don't forget these are here. They may be very helpful to you, okay? So I'm hoping that this helps you get a little oriented to the course and to the expectations, but don't forget, you can always post questions on the discussion Q&A, or you just email me, okay? I'm happy to help with anything I can, okay? I'm Dr. Conley. Welcome to biology.